In your case, according mm. to Dexai, right, you are at 26.2% body fat. Today, I will be going to the Royal Square Mall at Novena, where I was invited by Dexa Fit Asia to do a Dexa body composition scan, a VO2 max test, IR metabolic test, and a 3D body scan. And over here, I met Jimmy and James who attended to my needs. James showed me around their carefully designed test environment, which of course include their state-of-the-art advanced testing machines, and their cozy environment which makes me feel so at home here. There's also a lot of useful poster hang on the wall to keep clueless customers like me well informed. And to put the icing on the cake, customers here are also treated to the wonderful view of the city skyline while having their consultation here. After a mini tour around the place, James and I sat down and he carefully explained what today's session is all about. Prior to doing the test, I also did my first ever online consultation with a doctor. This is done so to ensure the safety of all participants in the test. Hello. Uh, you're looking to do the DEXA scan for BMD, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, sure. And you don't have any fragile fractures recently? No. After the consultation, I'm ready to do my first test, which is the DEXA body composition scan. I simply have to lie down on this machine, relax, and let the machine do its job for around 6 to 8 minutes. You will be able to measure my lean muscle mass, fat mass, and bone density of my body. Next up is the 3D body scan, where it will rotate me 360 degrees to give me a 3D image of me in 40 seconds. And I'll be able to get over 400 measurements and insights of key areas of my body, including circumferences, lengths, widths, and volumes. Next up, RMR metabolic test. For this test, I just have to sit comfortably on this chair for 20 minutes so that they can measure my breathing rate and my heart rate while at rest so that I'll be able to understand how efficient my body is at converting food to energy. And finally, the most intense test of them all, the VO2 Max Cardio Fitness Test. This is of course the test that most runners will be interested in. It can help to find the precise level of exercise intensity to optimize performance, recovery, and longevity. After the completion of all the four tests, James gave me a very detailed explanation of the results in a clear and concise way to help me identify my health blind spots and figure out what I need to do to accomplish my health goals. In your case, according to Dexa, right, you are at 26.2% body fat. Usually, you're probably looking at about 20 to 22%. So, this is slightly higher. Run so much, also cannot get rid. This test made me realize that my body fat percentage is leading towards the high fat zone, something I would not know if I had not came here. One thing is running, the other thing is your nutrition, also. Like, mm. uh, it boils down to aesthetic reasons. Yeah. yeah. Like, most people, they don't really need a very low fat, uh, body fat percentage. Okay. Yeah, it's nice to see, but not always the healthiest direction. Uh. Oh. Thanks James for this great advice that made me realise body fat percentage is not everything. In terms of BMI, you are within the normal range, mm. so that's, a, that's definitely very good news. Oh. Uh, according to your estimated visceral area, you are at 105. So the normal range is between 0 to 100. So you see all these yellow little dots inside here, yeah. the 3D image. Yeah. Yeah. So these are where your visceral fats are basically hiding. So here is the X-ray image of my body taken during the test. Once I zoom in, I'll be able to see my visceral fat which is the little yellow dots near my tummy area. Then I asked James the million dollar question that a lot of people would love to know. Yeah, Does it contribute to the tummy? Uh, the zeros are more inside the organs inside than the, the organs. Um, it's, it's, well, it's around the stomach area mm. mostly, right? So mm. some people will say that it uh, mm. contributes to the tummy, mm. la, but it damages the organs more than the tummy to be uh. honest. So the main objective of reducing visual fat on your body is to prevent further damage to your organs than reducing your tummy. You're also looking at android gynoid ratio. So the android gynoid ratio right, basically looks at your apple versus pear shape mm. body size. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and the ratio basically wants you to be below 1 in order to be counted as a below metabolism risk potential. Yeah. So you are looking at things like obesity, diabetes and mm. uh, things like that. Okay. But these are general estimations. So obviously you run a lot, then yeah. uh, the next question is why are you eating more? Yeah. Okay, I agree because I don't think I eat <laughs> 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 Most runners that I know, they 
if they don't really have a yeah. competing goal, then they will just eat whatever they want. Yeah. Especially because yeah. uh, their mindset is I run so hard, so that's yeah. why I should reward myself. Yeah. 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 Other than just running, I should really pay more attention to what I eat from now on. So now let's jump into the Dexa Fit app so that you'll be able to have a clearer picture of what James explained to me during the session. So this is the summary of my results in the Dexa Fit app. After taking the test, the results will be uploaded in the app so that customers will be able to have their results at their fingertips and make it easier for us to understand. So summary, uh, so at the top, when you log into the app, there's this longevity icon where they'll be able to show you the summary of my score. At least I still get a decent 83. I still have a smiley face there, which is all right. <laughs> 83, of course, I love to achieve more than 90 towards 100. So uh, if I want to dig in deeper, I'll be able to click in on this body composition. Okay, I click in and I'll be able to see my body score, which is I achieve a B minus, which is considered not bad. And here's the shape of my body. <laughs> so I click on the next icon, my body fat. Okay, body fat is 26.2, which means uh, still not really very unhealthy because it mentioned that I'm 0.38% under the average for my peer group. So I'm more or less close to my peer group, but still a lot, a lot, uh, a lot of areas to lose, I would say. Uh, just, I just recently remember that Ronaldo have like less, less than 5% body fat. Wow, that's really crazy. So now, as I continue to scroll through, I'll be able to see more detail uh, under my trunk, or my arms, or my legs, if I need more detail. So there's a lot of data for customer to be able to go in and dig deeper. So next, I go into the lean mass over here. Lean mass 70%, okay, still considered not bad, not bad as I try to achieve uh, towards 100%, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> so next, I go into the body fat and take a look, 1.12 pounds, okay, 1.12 pounds. And if you look at this bar, which help us are clueless, clueless about all this data, we'll be able to understand better. I'm leaning towards a smiley face, which is good, as I'm leaning towards the left, which is more or less optimized. Green color means um, my visceral pounds is not really bad. So if you lean towards at Risa, which is towards the red color part of the graph, then you really have to worry. Okay, my bone. Next, I check out my bone. How is my bone? I still remember James at the uh, center told me my bone density is very, very considered very good, which means when I run, I still can uh, push my bones a little bit, a little further without really worrying about it, especially for my age. Goes in line with what he mentioned. Uh, 1.5 leaning towards the grid, of course, can be better. Thankfully, thankfully, my bone density is still considered good. So the quality of my bone is still there. <laughs> so next up, this is the data that a lot of runners will be interested in. My VO2 max is <laughs> 43. Nothing world class, but still really, really um, happy with the results. <laughs> it's good in line with the VO2 max that I did uh, like a few months ago at the Sport Singapore. Uh, it's more or less the same, I would say. Okay, the, both the results are quite accurate. Next up is the RMR, is the amount of fat that I burn at rest. Uh, that's the one of the main reasons uh, that I find it very difficult to slim now is because my the amount of fat that I burn during rest is not considered very very high. So I'm considered the category of people that don't really lose a lot of fat. That means I have to make more effort to be able to uh, slim down maybe and to lose fat. So I'm somewhere al along the yellow bar. I don't know whether how much this can be improved. <laughs> So for those that are very lucky to be at the green bar, <laughs> then you will not be able, sometimes you see there's a lot of people right, that eat and eat and eat and won't be able to grow fat. Uh. I think these are the type of people. <laughs> so if you look at the right icon, there are still a lot more data that you will be able to really dig deeper. So for this, I share with you my summary of my results of in the app, which is very, very clear and designed in a very user-friendly way. He also guide me on the habits that can help me to achieve optimal health and how to stay motivated and remove the roadblocks to success. Thanks to this test, I now know my body much, much better. At the end of the session, James also provided me many useful tips on how I can make use of this data to achieve my health goals and be a better version of myself. Once again, I'd like to thank DexaFit Asia for offering so much high quality and personalized insights about how to take control of my health, fitness 
and longevity and I highly recommend their services to anyone who wish to know more about their body and take full control of their health from today onwards.